All right, we are going to a fun event from our friends at Fellow. We're going to go say hello to our friend Nick Terzuli. This is Fellow's take on a brewer. It's, in my opinion, the most technologically advanced capable brewer ever made for the home. And I would love to tell you why, if, if you want. Yeah, yeah. Right? So we basically took the same to the degree temperature control that we're known for in the stag and put it into a brewer. Put it into a brewer that can do true one cup to 10 cup without any, without any loss of quality from the entire range, right? So how do we how do we do this, right? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> most other brewers on the market are either a bubble pump, which is basically just boiling water. It hits a, hits a small ball valve, comes up, dumps hot water on the bed, right? Or you have like a thermal coil or a thermal block that you kind of heat water up, but there's this really, really large thermal mass and you're not able to change temperature really without changing flow rate. And so we're using a very specific type of heater and a very specific kind of pump to basically take water to whatever temperature we want in just a couple of seconds and keep it there at the same volumetric flow rate no matter what temperature you pick. So this means you could bloom at 210 and brew at 185. This means you can do a three pulse single serve profile with a declining temperature, right? This means that you can do a hot bloom, slow drip, cold brew concentrate, all in the same machine, right? And so aside from all that wacky nerdy stuff, <laughs> we have different baskets for single serve and batch brew. So this is a single serve basket, and this is our single serve basket. Let me take the filter out real quick. Which one is the single serve? Single serve is the cone, and batch brew is the big okay, the, so the, the the flat bottom. Uh, right? oh, and we have the color coding. And we have color coding, right? So you, it's good that you saw the color coding. You know what else is color coded? Our shower head. Our shower head is the first shower head ever designed that can actually switch between batch brew and single serve with one click. So you can go from this entire large bed of valves to pressure induced agitation oh, single serve. Oh, oh. Hey, that's sick. Okay. So that's, that's what you like. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what I like. So, <laughs> so our, our goal with this brewer was to make sure that we could release specialty, extremely lightly roasted single origin coffees. You made it for yourself. And you made, you made I, yourself. I, I, I might I might have <laughs> and and hit extraction yields beyond twenty two percent. You can truly take a single serve automatic pour over to beyond 22% in this in this brewer. Okay? Additionally, for the aficionados like me, you know, I really like a lot of high EY coffees. So we actually reduced the amount of bypass in our batch brew basket to make it more efficient at extraction. And one of the reasons why we did this is because since you have such amazing temperature control, such amazing temperature stability, you can now effectively modulate the flavor profile of the coffee by changing the temperature without having to worry too much about how much bypass you have. I went pretty deep on, on nerdery there, but this is this is why this is why I, I do what I do, right? So let me talk a little bit about some of the other kind of nice to have features. So I, I think, you know, in my opinion, it really stinks when I have to fill a brewer in place. So this is the water tank. There's a, a little splash guard here, right? So if you want to fill, there's almost, is that water? This is water, this is water, not water, sorry. So if you want to fill, you can just kind of like blindly pour and it'll go in, it hits the splash guard and comes down. But say, say I just want to put this, say I just want to take this to the sink. I could take, I could take the whole, the whole tank out, take it to the sink, fill it in the sink, come back. Super easy alignment, everything finds home. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the carafe. Stainless steel double wall thermal carafe. And I really hate my one of my biggest pet peeves with brewers is that sorry, there's coffee in here. I don't want to spill it. One of my biggest pet peeves of brewers is that I can't clean it. Look how big that top opening is. I can get any brush I want in there, any sponge I want in there. All stainless steel, clean it super easy. Right? Let's talk about some other features like creature comforts, right? So the batch brew basket has a drip stop on the bottom there that will interact with the top of the lid, okay? So what you're seeing here is we're essentially brewing 
in a double wall brewing chamber, okay? You have the brewing chamber here, you have the basket, and then you have this silicone seal ring right here. And what this silicone seal ring does is it keeps every bit of steam inside that basket. So our temp, our thermal stability in the bed is exceptional, okay? Exceptional. I went full nerd on this. Okay? I went to like measure it with the seal and without the seal. So we actually sent this for SEA evaluation already and our prototype, even before this, passed all the specs. Our prototype uniformity of extraction was almost 93%. So that lets me know and lets our team know that we did a really, really good job pairing the shower head to the basket, mm -hmm. right? Um, what else can I talk about? So you've heard me talk a lot about, you know, the super nerd stuff and profiles. Let's talk about profiles because it's kind of similar to something someone else on this team does, right? <laughs> You're able to use uh, an app on your phone yeah. or the machine itself to build profiles. We let you build batch brew profiles, we let you build single serve profiles, and you can even tweak cold brew concentrate and regular cold brew profiles, okay? The other cool thing about profiles is that your local favorite roaster can also get coffees, roast the coffees, send you a profile, and you could brew it exactly how they want to brew it on Aiden for both single serve and batch brew, okay? Now, if you're not super nerdy like me, and you just want someone to go to Instant Brew, you slap Instant Brew, it makes an SDA certified cup, right? You don't have to get super deep and peel back layers of the onion. If you want to make amazing coffee, just press a button, make amazing coffee, right? If you want to learn how to make coffee, we can go to Guided Brew. You can select your roast level, like light, medium, dark. Let's say we want to do light, a light roast, okay? We're going to choose how much coffee we want to brew. Right? Is this input? Don't wait, or So this is input. This is input, okay? You'll see the, the yeah. at the bottom there. Yeah, and you'll the also see leaders. you'll also see it change from a green dot to a blue dot. So it's, it tries to help you pick the basket, okay? And then you can go ahead and it says insert filter basket. Okay. Right? Because I have the blue basket inserted, right? So there's sensors in this machine to tell you what basket you have in it. Mm -hmm. There is a sensor in this machine to tell you what shower head you have selected. Okay? So this is the this is it. This is our take on a brewer that can do one cup truly to ten cups, full liter and a half, second biggest batch brewer on the market. And you know, Brian, I, I know your audience. So many people ask me when I designed O Gen 2, why'd you make the hopper bigger? Why'd you make the cup bigger? Why'd you make the hopper bigger? Why'd you make the cup bigger? Because I was making a liter and a half batch brewer. Right? Hey, so when, when can I buy one? When can I buy one? So you can pre-order this tomorrow morning at 9.30 on fellowproducts.com. And if you pre-order, this is gonna come with some exclusives for pre-order customers. You're gonna get three exclusive bags of coffee, one from Verve, one from Onyx, and one from La Cabra, each with its own profile, developed specifically for Aiden. And the price, $365. This is my dream filter coffee brewer. <laughs> Do you want to put that on a on a cyber truck? Say again? Do you want to put that on a cyber truck? You know, uh, on the cyber truck? Uh, why not? I mean, it kind, it kind of fits, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. He's made it. He has a business card. Oh man, you're a green buyer now? Yeah. Sick. Congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't give this up. <laughs> my eagle is. <laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere, man. No, that's, that's it's awesome. just a psychic. Also, just some other um, small features that will be really, really appreciated by our customers. So, if you have cabinets that are really low, the back two legs are not the same material as the front two legs, so you can pick it up and slide it. Extremely easy. Oh, oh well, nice. sorry, the, the wire, there's a wire in the way here. That's, that's too big brain for other designers. So, the back two legs are Delrin. And the front two legs are rubber, or oh, silicone. Nice. So this is plugged in, so I have to be careful, but I can lift, slide, lift, slide, lift, slide, lift, slide, right? And then another thing, I want to turn this up really quickly. We do have a fully functioning cord wrap underneath. So if you want to hide your cord underneath, nice. you can keep your countertop 
super crispy. Batch brew, single serve, double walled, uh, thermal carafe, amazing heat retention, amazing extraction yields, amazing uniformity of extraction, evenness of extraction, like just. Can we, can we brew some? Right, this is uh, right. Yeah, sure, right no problem. Let me, let me yeah, see yeah, let's, I have. let's brew, let's brew something. You wanna brew a single serve? Yeah, sure. I have a competition coffee from Nomad. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So let me. Um, is this from your stash? Is this yeah? Is this from your stash or? or I, I, I actually went to Eight Normal in Oakland yesterday or two days ago to pick some up. So big shout out to Eight Normal. You know my favorite local local spot. And then what happened to the what happened to the beer? I tattooed my neck. I had to shave it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I was like something's different. So, <laughs> Something looks different. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... So these are off-the-shelf paper filters? Yes, so you can use a standard 8 to 12 cup flat bottom uh -huh. filter. Uh -huh. And in terms of the filter for the cone, it's a standard number two cone filter. Oh, okay. I okay. put my capback filters in there. Yep. So um, we will be making our own filters and selling them on okay. fellowprox.com. But, you know, what we really want to do is make sure that if you're in another country or if you're somewhere in the United States or in the middle of the country, you can go to a grocery store, you can go to Amazon, wherever you want, and make sure that you can buy it to yeah. brew your coffee in the morning. Nick's going to build a profile. We're just going to brew a cup now, and we got some Nomad competition coffee. All right, Very so I'm cool. just gonna I'm gonna show you how you can um, build a profile on the actual brewer. You can also do this on our app, but I don't have the app here right now on my phone. So this would be like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi connected. Yep. yep. Okay. But you have the option to do it on the machine. Yeah. yeah. We're not forcing you to use the app. You okay. can do everything here, right? So you just click profiles. You go to create news. Right. So we say I want to brew it. This is a, you know, I'll say. Nomad uh, is pretty well developed. I'll say let's brew at 97.5, okay? Yeah, so we got 0.5, so it's like uh, the, the EKG Pro, yep. right? I'm gonna brew at 1 to 17. I'm gonna go to advanced mode, and I'm gonna do bloom. I'm gonna bloom at a 1 to 3 ratio, and I'm gonna bloom for 60 seconds. Okay, I'm really gonna let this coffee open up. And you have a bloom temperature too. Yep, and you have bloom temperature. And now I'm gonna go to pulses, okay? I'm gonna do three single serve pulses, I'm gonna wait 23 seconds between each pulse, and I can actually change the temperature of each pulse. So you can so, temp profile through each pulse. Yep, you, okay. can, you can temp profile for each one, right? So I'm gonna go there, batch pulses back, and then I'm gonna go down, and I should be able to save. And it's just called My Profile 2, mm -hmm. okay? So weigh out about 20 to 22 grams of coffee, throw the filter in, and the brewer is gonna do all the work. Cool. Brand new, okay. Oh, wow. Cracking it open. I've never dialed this in. I'm gonna do this on like six. No match for develop. Number two filter. It's right in there. It's right in. I'm gonna make sure that I have it in single serve mode. Okay, so it's really, really simple to switch between batch and single. Just this oh, little, it's just left and right. Just yeah. this left and Easy. right. And there's a sensor inside to let you know that you switched. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my coffee. Yeah. Right in. I'm just gonna level this bed a little bit. Lots in. And now I'm gonna brew right into a mug. Oh, right. Okay, okay. yeah, you can totally do that. Right, of course you can. <laughs> that coffee smells great. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna brew. We'll do, we'll do 450. Can I say how much coffee to add? Sorry, I'm brewing. Cool. So yeah, you just picked their profile and then now you're adding. Okay, so it tells you total brew time because, okay, so it's like each of the pulses and then now telling me which of the exact pulses it's yep. on. Yep. We can't open this while it's brewing. No, right? there's, there's like safety, right? Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. there's, okay. a, there's actually a sensor, there's a lid sensor, there's a thermal carafe sensor, there's sensors in both baskets, and there's a sensor in the shower head. Okay. Okay. And there's a bunch of other thermal sensors inside that we basically use to build our our temperature algorithm, our flow algorithm, and stuff like that. Yeah, but there you go. So it's just gonna pulse and yeah. Oh, they're in sixty bucks. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. If you if you pre-order, you're gonna get about seventy-five bucks worth of coffee. 
So that takes the price of the machine down below 300. So when we think about, you know, competitors on the market, we're in a, in a pretty solid price range. We're, we're also doing things in terms of the control system that I don't think any other company is doing. I'm going to speak lightly around you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> It's, he doesn't control everything. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I don't do. Ev I, I do a lot, but I don't do everything. I'm just company. having fun. <laughs> so we made a very conscious decision to have the drip stop with the carafe, but no drip stop with a coffee mug, so you can brew in your coffee mug. But there is a drip stop in the basket when you click it up. So when you walk to your trash can and throw it out, you don't you don't drip anything over. Right, right. right. So the recommended workflow for this is like, okay, when the brew is done, you let it sit, you throw this out, take it to the trash, take your mug, drink your mug, you're good. I have one question. Uh, for the, what happened in cold brew here? That's how they're the cold brew. Yes. So this machine will can let you do a hot bloom cold brew, right? Okay. So the way that I've developed a profile is that you do a hot bloom, and then you basically pulse a certain number, a certain amount of water every certain number of seconds for a long duration of time. Okay. So we've been able to get very high extraction, very even cold brew concentrate in about two to three hours. Okay. And, okay. and in my opinion, it tastes much better than just a standard, you know, throw some unfiltered stuff in a yeah, canister yeah, yeah. in your sure, fridge sure. and let it steep, right? Yeah. So we're sitting somewhere between like true hot brew, like chilled coffee, like cold coffee, and cold brew. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. You know, since it is hot bloomed and filtered, I get a little bit more characteristic of the coffee. You know, you still have very, very low acidity, but all of the characteristics of the coffee aren't totally stripped away. Yeah, no like fridge taste either. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. But and you just let that sit here, right? Like, yeah. You do the machine just run and run and run and, and, and then just let it set and forget it. Set and forget it. And we have schedules built in, so you can schedule a coffee to be done at whatever time you want. You say you want your cold brew done at seven, it's gonna start at four in the morning. If you want your single serve done at 6.15, it's gonna be done at 6.15. Is there any flow rate you can separate? So it was, we made a very conscious decision to fix the flow rate, mainly because of physics and how we're using this, this heater, right? Because if you start to get out of bounds, the algorithms, you're just not gonna be able to hit the certain temperatures that you wanna hit. So we fix the flow rate and give the user as much control over everything else as possible. What, 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 I've, what we've been able to prove is that at the flow rate that we spec, you get amazing batch brew, amazing single serve. It works across a range of voltages and we're very, very happy with kind of locking that down because you do have so much other control. You gonna make different colors of, of any of this stuff that so, come in? Yeah, Can so, I get one in pink? <laughs> uh, so right now, um, at launch tomorrow, will be matte black. Following shortly after will also be matte white. Okay. And other colors, I'm not sure. Right now, matte black and matte white are the only things we're actively working on. But Fellow has a history of making really cool colors, so yeah, who I knows? Pink and blue. Pink and blue? Put in handle on this. <laughs> I could see a day when that happens. So it actually says drip finish. Right? So we want to let it kind of drip out as right. much as possible. And then when we're done, I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to pop the basket. And then it should form a seal. I should be able to walk it over to the bartender's trash can and throw it away. Right, yeah. And your cup of water. So you ready? Oh, like we got the, got the rainbow the RGB. <laughs> yeah, people are, people are surprised we actually put some color, right? Okay. So I'm going to see all that. This ring actually keeps thermal stability inside the chamber. So it's really wild when I open this up, right? Pop this up. Now the drip stop engages. So nothing, nothing dripping. And now I can go and take this to uh, the trash can and you got your beautiful competition coffee that you didn't have to brew by hand. And depending on the profile you build, your dwell time, um, your bloom time, your grind size, we truly can push Coffee's beyond 22%. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, we can give this a taste. Uh, yep. Wow, this coffee smells. This is a wash. This is just a regular wash coffee. Regular wash coffee. Wow. That was a pineapple note. Since we are extremely thermally stable, coffee comes out of this machine super, super hot. Yeah. So, All right. cheers. Wow, it smells incredible. Cheers. Cheers. Bring my. Entourage here. Yeah. For everything. <laughs> <laughs>
grind a little finer. Pick, so push, push it harder. Push, push it harder. Use a little bit less water. Potential there, like. Yeah. The, wow. but, but for the first time, I've ever opened a bag and kind of guessed. Mm -hmm. You know, the the important thing is demonstrating the capability yeah. and giving people, you know, as much functionality as much layers to the onion as you want. Mm -hmm. I like, I like that it doesn't taste like batch brew. Yeah, I like yeah, there's yeah. no like off flavors from yeah, normal bat or yeah. No, this is just like a really well brewed. Yeah, now get one for office, right? So for, <laughs> <laughs> so for me, like as I as I develop batch brew, as I develop single serve, like I, I can say with all honesty, I truly had exceptional cups of coffee off this thing. So like, you know, when I've served it to people, they're like you know, I get comments like, you get comments like, this is better than any pour I've ever had in my house, right? We're trying to take the guesswork out of making really exceptional coffee. Yeah, and you know, if you guys know anything about Nick, you know, his standards are up there. <laughs> Pretty high. Yeah, very, very high standards. Seeing this and the amount of work you put into it is, is awesome. I mean, to see it in, in you know, in, in um, my own eyes and being able to taste coffee off of it. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Finally, Bruce Say from a machine like this. You can. You can. Yeah. So the, there was actually a, a pretty good chunk of time where I went back to the team and I said, I don't think single serve is possible because everything I was trying was 17% extraction yield, 18% extraction yield. And it really took a lot of work and a lot of breakthroughs to figure out how to do this pressure-based agitation because we don't have mechanical agitation like you guys do, right? So pressure-based agitation to really boost that extraction yield. You know, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the results. I've been drinking coffee from Safe, from Coffee Collective, from Wendell Bow, from Macabra, from, you know, all the all the places that I really like to drink really clean, delicate wash yeah. coffees. And, you know, coffees have just been phenomenal. Will we be able to brew on this at the, at, at, uh, at the, at the show? We're going to be brewing on Aiden all weekend, back to back. We'll have at least two going at all times at the fellow booth, plus some roaster partners of ours are going to be brewing at the show, all around the show. So people are going to get a chance to taste coffee off Aiden all weekend. We'll be doing batch brew, we'll be doing single serve, we'll be doing dialing in more than me just guessing once. And uh, it'll be good. Okay, it'll be yeah, good. yeah. Cause I got. I brought some good safe. Save. You want to try it? Awesome. And, and then Lance also has some uh, some stuff he brought for us to right, play around cool. with. So we'll bring it. We'll see if we can play around with it some more on the on the weekend. But yeah, you know, this is awesome to see and coffee tasting great. Yeah. Our video is formed around you being here, so it's you know, like we just wanted. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're like we're gonna come hang out with our friend Nick. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's great to see all of you, and like I'm stoked to be able to do this for a living, and I'm stoked you're able to do this for a living, and. You know, shout out to the whole Bay Area coffee community. I'm on the I'm on the Discord. Yeah. I don't show up for the events because I'm busy, but I'm on the Discord. Well, that's because you're working on this. Yeah, yeah but now on this. you yeah. might have more free time now to come hang out. I don't know about that. <laughs> so, what's next? Yeah, yeah. What's next? Or what can you share? Um, I'm not allowed to talk about roadmap because I really love my job too much. But I think that if people, I'll say this: if people are impressed with the direction that fellow is going with Aiden. I think they're going to continue to be surprised and delighted by the things we're working on, and are going to continue to do moving forward. So, I'm really, I'm really stoked on the on the outlook for the company, and you know, I'm really grateful that I'm at a company that gets me, that really lets me do wild and crazy stuff like this. Because if I was at another company and I was like, I want to make this crazy batch brewer that can do all this stuff, and it's going to take me two years, they would tell, they would tell me no. But you know, Jake and Fellow and team are like. All right, Nick, can you figure this out? And, you know, massive thanks to the whole engineering team. I, I really want to say, like, people's names, like Lydius and Dennis and Hudak and Kunst and Dan and, oh my gosh, like, the entire engineering team, you know, hardware, software, firmware, marketing, logistics, operations, like, thank you so much. Like, this is not possible without all the hard work. And I know sometimes I'm the guy in the video who's, like, talking about it, but, but it's, not, it's not just me, you know? I do some of the concepting and the team makes it real. So thank you so much. Yeah, cool. Well, yeah, this is uh, Nick who, you know, we just wanted to show off all of the new stuff and, you know, thanks for inviting us and yeah. got to bring all these guys along to see the quick preview. And, you know, I keep reaching and getting more coffee because it's tasting great. So yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, no, thanks, right. thanks, man. All right, it. see you guys. Woo.